Assalamu alaikum dear friends, today in 2020, I am here to explain and telling that how to solve that science or practical of time series in which we will find seasonal indices by using ratio to trend method. So that's practical and that's problem I will is very very important for you. So must watch that lecture completely till end and don't skip any step. So let's start the lecture. So here I have already solved step one. There are three steps to solve that. First step is already I solved that. That method I have already discussed. You can watch my videos of method of least scares ratio to moving average method and also link relative method that's lectures i have already discussed which are available in the description you can watch that you can easily do that now moving my second step second step is here ratio to trend method for ratio must remember that for that method second step must remember right here y is equal to a plus bx so you have to calculate just values of a and B because that value will be here and I put the values in here A and B you can, you can easily calculate that value so A or B you have to maintain normal equations you can write here multiply the whole value by summation you can write here summation by summation A must remember that summation A is equal to NA so I can write here NA plus B summation A so I just multiplied by submission to a whole equation that's the second step second step i will multiply that equation by x you can write here multiply by capital x that equation that's right here capital x capital y is equal to a capital x plus b capital x square next next step will be similarly multiply by submission i write here submission capital x capital y is equal to a submission x plus b submission x square so there you can see that there is the first question and there is the second question for which you can easily calculate values of values of a and b so moving my first equation from first equation I write here focus is here submission y is equal to n a plus and must remember that submission x is equal to zero right there given here submission x is equal to zero when we adding the values so submission x zero so i will put here submission x will be zero so right here plus zero that's simple i write here just you can write here a is equal to submission y over n Submission y is given already here. Submission y is here uh, 1924. I will write here 1924. And under the number of values, number of values are 16. So I will write, so I will write here n is the 16. So write here 16. So next step will be 1924 divided by 16. Writing here 1924. 1924 divided by 16. Dividing that, we get the value here 120.25. Get the value here 120.25. So there's the A equation. Put the value in here. Next B. B just last value from two. Right here from second equation, just like before. I will write here submission x y is equal to submission x is zero. So right here zero plus B submission x square so by simplifying you can get here value of b is equal to submission x y submission x submission x y divided by submission x square so for the value here submission x y is given here minus double one six four so just put here minus double one six four divided by submission x square submission x is given here one three six zero what did here one three six dividing that value there double one six four divided by one three six two so get the value is zero point eight double five so value is minus zero point eight double five so put the value being here you can easily calculate the regression equation for ratio to trend method so put the values in a and b you can easily calculate that so that's the corrected values i calculated and next step is here y divided by y and you have to calculate d seasonalized so uh, cutting the TCA, EC trend and cyclic, but there is seasonal net. This is the 
seasonal basis. Now, I'm going to move my third step. In third step, I will use that seasonal analysis and that should be last part of that section. So last part of that section is very very important which is the main result of that section. Now I'm moving my third step. So don't skip uh, here. Now moving my third step. In third step, just right here, computation of seasonal indices. Computation of seasonal indices. You have to make a just is a box. You can write here, uh, just like simply, you can write here, air. Airs are given here, 2000, 2001, 2002. Uh, last year 2003. Similarly, you can write here uh, quarter, yeah, first, uh, second, third quarter, and last will be fourth quarter. Write the values in a period. You can write the values here just like that. Next step. And next step will be here will be total. And next step will be here mean. And last step will be here seasonal indices. A last step will be here, seasonal indices that I have already discussed in my lectures or past lecture, link and uh, relation to moving, you can pass that. Now moving the first point, next point, 2000 first quarter, 2000 first quarter value is double one five point six. just put the value here, double one five point six, eighty seven point five eight. next, next seventy nine point four seven. And next, uh, 79.47. And next is here, 79.47. Next, 76.62, 76.62, uh, 93.50, 2000, uh, 2001, 2000, uh, 2001, when is there? First quarter, 93.50. Right here, 93.50, 2001, 2001, and next 93.64 uh, similarly you can move here 85.87 and next is here 105.5 next 109.6 and next uh, 101.7 and next similarly 93.61 and our last year 107.4 Last year 107.4 and next is here double one double uh, double one zero point zero one zero six point uh, two ninety five point eight. So I hope that you have clear conception in that which is very very easy. Now next step. Must remember that I already discussed I put start. I put start in that section which are mix maximum values or minimum values must remember maximum values or minimum values must remember for maximum values and minimum values I put the star which are not closest to each other in that section here 107 that is the closest values but 93 is a very minimum value not closest to each other so just put here star Star shows that that's value which is neglected. And we can say that that's value will be neglect. Next, that double one five five six is the largest value. So right here, star. That's here. Now we move to the next point. That's the closest. That is seven nine hundred. That's the closest value. But each time is a very minimum value, not closer to each other. So I put here star. So I put star on maximum and minimum values which are no closest to each other. Must remember that. That's our closest I put here and that's our closest value 93.7. So just as simple. Next step will be here very simple. Now you have to calculate total. I will not mention that value will be neglect. That value will be neglect. Next, I will add the value 105.5 and that's 105.5 plus 107.4. 107 I'll get the value of 
2.9. Next time, adding the value uh, by neglect that value, adding the three values, 97.99 uh, plus 109.6 uh, plus double one zero point zero. I get the value here. 317.5. Get away 317.5. Next step. Next step we are adding the four values. 79.47 plus 93.64. Uh, next plus 101.7 plus 106.2. Adding that value, we get the value at 38. 38 1.0 uh, 38 1.0 uh, 38 1.0 uh, 1 next step 76.62 plus uh, 85.87 plus uh, next 93.61 and last year 95.8 adding the value get the value is 3.51 0.9 so there are the total values over here and next will be here mean you already know that mean is submission x over n mean is submission x over n you can easily calculate that value must remember that here is submission as the total is submission x next submission x divided by n here the number of values are you must remember 1 and 2 because that value will be not countable neglect so there is the two values 1 and 2 so, so 212.9 divided by 2 212.9 divided by 2 we get the value here 106.106.4 106.45 you can say that 106.4 4 5 write the value here 106.45 and next value here uh, next step just like that there's 317.5 divided by number of values 1 2 3 because that will be neglect I will not count divided by 3 317.5 divided by 3 I get the value here 105.8 that's here and next 93 adding that value 381.0 divided by 4 1, 2, 3, 4 I went by the 4 the number of values are 4 I write here uh, 381.0 divided by 4 we get the value here 95.25 and next step will be here 95. Uh, 95.25 95.25 and last step is here 351.9 divided by 4 number values are 4 divided by 4 we get the value here 87 87.97 so that's the value here. I uh, sorry, I forgot that I will. Uh, I have a make a table in that in that section. And last step is here. Adding all values, I will get their total values. Adding their values: one zero six point four five plus one zero five point eight plus ninety five point two five ninety five point two five. Next plus uh, 87 87.97 we get the value is 395.45 uh, 47 which is not equal to and that section of to be the next point that's value 395.47 uh, does not equal to 400 so must remember that in every method, ratio to moving, ratio to trend, ring length method must be standard value 400. 400 is standard value. But that is not equal to 400. You have to make here 400. You can easily make there 400. First of all, I will multiply that value 106. I write here values here. 10. I am writing here values. 106. 0.45 simple simple trick. I am telling you simple trick. I put here 400. Very simple. 
मल्टीप्लाई बाय 400 डिवाइडेड बाय 395.47 दैट वैल्यू व्हिच वी वांट एंड दैट वैल्यू व्हिच वी वांट टू निगलेक्ट यू कैन इजीली सॉल्व दैट 106.45 दैट्स वैल्यू मल्टीप्लाई बाय 400 दैट्स सिंपल नेक्स्ट डिवाइडेड बाय 395.47 we get the value here 107 107.6 we get the value here 107.6 and similarly you can do it here 105.8 multiply by 400 divided by right here 105 similarly 0.8 multiply by 400 divided by 395.47 very simple uh, 105.8 multiply by 400 divided by 395.47 so get the value here 107.0 107.0 next step is here uh, 95.25 95.25 similarly multiply by 400 divided by uh, 3 395.47 we get the value here 96.3 96.3 3.4 and last one is here 80, uh, 87 87.97 uh, multiply by 400 divided by 395.47 we get the value here 88.9 88.9 97 we can write here now last step is here adding all values that's the last last point of that lecture very important 107.6 plus 107.0 plus 96.34 plus uh, 88.9 we get the value here 399 get the value here 399.8 which be equal to 400 so i have cleared the lecture total corrected value gain here 400 so that's the further shows that your calculation and practical is good. So thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel and must press bell icon button for gaining notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.